Welcome back everyone. One American is diagnosed every year, every hour with MS, but you can help change that and it's really easy. All you have to do is hop on a bike and ride for a cure. It's only 100 miles. I mean, come on. It's the Bike MS Valero 2013 Alamo Ride to the River. It's right around the corner. We've got Cynthia Rodriguez with the MS Society. She's here along with Chris Potter, who is riding for the second year, and he also is living with MS. Good morning. Thank you all for Good being morning. here. Thank Thanks you. for having us. So I was getting to know them both a little bit earlier, and I was talking to Chris, and I said, well, Chris, when were you diagnosed? And you said you were just diagnosed. At March of uh, last year. So a little over a year. Mm -hmm. And you rode this race last year oh, yeah. and you're not a cyclist no not before this is my first time last year was my first time on the bike she said you know what i'm just going to go all out and go <laughs> all 100 miles here how was the ride it was awesome and it's 155 miles oh i i just jipped you the, 55 miles uh, it's, that's it's a lot of difference no, that's a, no that's a huge difference a huge difference so you rode in it last year um but tell me why you know i know you, you live with ms uh, how has this disease impacted your life just in the last year sure and when i got diagnosed you know there's always a you know first month of you know not knowing what the disease is going to present to yourself and and um, i was very lucky and blessed to have uh, two uh, dear friends uh, my brothers from other mothers as we say <laughs> uh, rudy mendez and andrew raymond uh, called me and said hey let's do this let's mm -hmm. let's do all 155 miles and and start raising money for a cure and so we formed Team Wingman and it was three of us and we didn't say who had MS until the finish line. And as we crossed the finish line, awesome. they flipped their bandanas over and it had my name on there and it said, I ride for Chris Potter. Oh. And we raised $12,000 between the three of us. And this year our team has a uh, uh, 25 members. Oh my goodness. So wait, what is the goal then this year? What are you hoping to raise? Because I hear there's a little bet going that could involve a really expensive haircut for you. Yeah, yes, there is. <laughs> uh, we uh, made uh, our goal uh, is $30,000 and if we reach that goal, I will shave my head at the starting line. So that's, You know what? That's, a, that's for a good cause though. But again, yes. the most expensive haircut you will ever get. I would agree. $35,000. And yes, we're talking exactly. bald. It's all coming off. Oh, yes. Every little bit. Okay. So <laughs> I want to talk to Cynthia a little yes. bit about what the MS Society does, what your goal is. I know you you want to find uh, as much, uh, you do cutting edge research yes. so you can find a cure. And how close are we to that? We are, we're better than we were 20 years ago. Mm -hmm. When people were first diagnosed, there were very little opportunities for them with regards to medication. Mm -hmm. And now through the fundraising efforts of our bike rides and our Walk MS mm -hmm. events, we've been able to raise significant amounts of money to help support um, research, which allows us to have so many more options available for people living with MS now. And you don't just help people that are living with MS, you help their families too, because it affects everyone, children, spouses, you know, extended mm -hmm. families. Family. They love these individuals so very much and I, I can't imagine how tough that must be to watch them suffer or to think that they're hurting. Right, and we provide all kinds of programs and services, support groups to help people with living living with MS and also their family members as well. So it's a big support group and support area and we try to do the best that we can to provide all of those programs and resources and we can only do that through the fundraising efforts of the Bike MS and Walk and MS events. That's that your have. big fundraiser. Okay, so yes. it's not too late if people want to join a team, if they want to start a team, if they just want to donate to a team, right. how can they do that? They do that by going to bikemstexas.org and clicking on San Antonio and then they can choose anyone to support. They can register online. They can even register until the Friday before the event oh. at the expo. So there's lots of opportunity to get involved. We have people registering every day um, and the fundraising really does help us move the mission forward. And you do have a new location you're starting at because of construction and yes. it's at Wheatley Heights Sports Complex. If they're going to go there this year, so that's a little different. We want that's to, correct. We don't want them going to the old place. It's a mile down the street from the AT&T Center, which was our old spot. So, gotcha. um, and it's a beautiful spot. Lots of parking. Um, they're really going to enjoy this start and finish line. All right. Thank you both for being here, Chris. Thank, thank you. you for being here and Definitely. sharing your story. Appreciate it. You are incredible. 155 <laughs> miles, Cassandra. Woo! I couldn't do that if I trained for 155 <laughs> years. Good for you. Thank you.